What's up, Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Gravity Falls reaction. Yeah! And today, we're not doing any shorts. We're not doing any analysis video that's over five hours. No, no more of that for now. <laughs> we are finally moving on to season two. I am so hyped. I am so pumped for this. I can't wait. What are my predictions? Uh, um, well, you can go and watch the five hour prediction video if you want to. Um, but general predictions are who wrote the book, Old Man McGucket, uh, what is Bill Cipher? He's some sort of interdimensional god. What happened at the end of season one? Stan opened up a portal um, and apparently, um, what did the code say? It said something about finding his one true love or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember. But we decoded a code and it told, it told us a little bit about the portal. I think whatever goes down in season two, it's going to be absolutely wild. I think the whole premise of it is that it's going to be a lot more related to Bill Cipher and we're going to see a lot more of like the dreamland. So I'm really excited to see what that's all about. And maybe we're going to see like Stan Secret, um, like clone or twin. Um, as we've theorized, there might be two Stans. There also might be two Mabels. Don't know how I feel about that, but yeah, anyway, just remember, as always, if you want to see my full-length, uncut reactions to these, um, what are they call like, episodes, to, e to these episodes, to this series, then you can go and, uh, man, I'm really messing this up today. You can become a channel member today for $1 a month, and you get instant access to every episode. And that is a deal worth taking, my friends. I've heard many people say that they have been really enjoying the full uncut reactions. Uh, of course, I can only show uh, a, a small portion on YouTube, unfortunately, but um, $1 a month, it's a bargain, so do it. And of course, thank you to everybody who has become a member because of this series. I I genuinely, I, I'm like, there's so many of you now and I'm really pleased that you're enjoying it. Anyway, let's stop blabbering and move on to season two. Okay, uh, one thing is, uh, <laughs> Let's stop blabbering. One small thing is that you guys have been telling me not to read the titles of the episodes of season two because they're spoilery. So I'm not going to be doing that. Um, I have made sure that I have like a protected view. I, I haven't seen the episode names. Uh, so all I know is that this is season one, episode number one. Uh, season two, episode number one. I, I told you, I'm, I'm really messing up today. I'm, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Anyway, season two, episode one. Let's go. Oh, the portal's opening. <laughs> We're just getting straight in there. No freaking about, number two boss. Waddles. Hey. 30 long years and it's all led up to this. 30. Like the greatest achievement. Probably should have worn pants. 30 years, but the book is only six years old. This is a different side to Stan that we haven't seen before. Please don't tell me I have to decode that. If anyone ever finds out about this. <laughs> yeah, right. I've come this far. <laughs> Obviously they're going to find out. Wait. Six-fingered glove. Huh. Welcome to the grand reopening of the Mystery Shack. <laughs> Mystery Shack. We're here to celebrate the defeat of that skunk Lil She's Gale. got a watermelon jumper. Oh my god. Boo harder. Yeah! <laughs> Smile for the camera. Your camera's a cinder block, Toby. I just want to be a part of things. <laughs> hey, Uncle Stan, now that we have a moment, I've been meaning to ask you for my journal back. What? Journal? Oh, <laughs> you mean this old thing? It was so boring, I couldn't even finish it. Oh my god. Wait, you're just going to give it to me? Just like that? Sneaky. What's he doing now? Mabel, we've got to talk. Almost losing my journal made me realize that I'm halfway through the summer and still no closer to figuring out the big mysteries of Gravity Falls. Gideon almost destroyed the town to get his hands He's... on this journal. Oh my god. What was Let's Bill go, Dipper. When he said everything was going to change. 
There's something huge going on right under our noses, and it's time we stop Literally. moving around and get to the bottom of it. Bottom. <laughs> Do you hear that? Oh. Hey, Mr. Pine. Is it like the government? Word I'm supposed to yell when I see a government vehicle. Wait, what? Government vehicle? Honk if you want to be arrested. <laughs> They know something sus with Welcome Grunkle Stan. To the Shack, gentlemen. What can I get you? Keychains? Snow globes? These rare photos of American presidents? My name is Agent Powers. This is Agent Trigger. We're here to investigate reports of mysterious activity in this town. Okay. Some sort of radiation? I was born with a rare disorder that makes me physically incapable of experiencing humor. <laughs> I don't understand that sound you're making with your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> an investigation. Investigation. Okay. Are you kidding me? I'm investigating the exact same thing. I, I found this journal in the woods, which has almost all the. Dipper. Answers. If we work together, we could crack the case. If you have evidence of these claims, we should talk. We can talk right now. Please, please. Oh no, Dipper. Oh God. Kid has an overactive imagination. And like a sweating problem. Ha <laughs> zing! <laughs> we have other spots to investigate. We'll be on our way. I'm confiscating this for evidence. Smart move. Smart move. Interesting. The last thing you want around during a party is cops. But why doesn't Grunkle Stan want Dipper to know? Like, what's his ulterior motive here? I say carry, you say okey. Carry! Okay. Okay. Carrie. Okay. I could do this all day. <laughs> and the karaoke machine has all the best songs. We built this township on rock and roll. Did you join the highway now? Things go for midnight by Emperor Sandra. I don't know that one. These black lights make my teeth look scary. Oh, black light. Use the journal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Mabel. Is that a boombox sweater? See for yourself. Poke. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. That goat is still there. These kegs are full of meat! <laughs> <laughs> Tambry sends me the crazy. He's got a <laughs> The inside jokes are so funny. Stan Vac. I saw Stan Vac. Right, Grunkle Stan, where did you hide that card? Nothing. Gold chains for old men. Nothing. You pretending I never saw that fully clothed women. <laughs> Contraband. Told you once, I've told you a hundred times. There's nothing supernatural going on in Gravity Falls. I don't understand Dipper's side of this, really. You have to know that by now. All I know is that you're done. I guess it's just really naive. Get us all in trouble one of these days. Now go enjoy the rest of the party. Because when it's over, you're grounded. Aw. But he knows now. He knows that Stan is protecting something, you know. Wait! This book is real! No! It is interesting. Objects, spells, listen! Uh, they don't believe uh, it. Corpus Levitus, uh, Diablo Dominus, um, Mondo Vicia! No! Huh? Oh no! What's he done? <laughs> okay. It wasn't the Bill Cipher one. Good thing it was just that one. Oh no! It is the apocalypse, like Stan was talking about. What a fools, it's bloods and dirt. Making all that money and getting them girls. <laughs> <laughs> I know literally everything there is to know about how to avoid zombies. <laughs> Second thought, gonna flip the script. Can I eat your brains? Yeah, your name. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry, dude. I just really want those brains. I wonder if the uh, if Stan is able to save it all or like stop everything. Where's Uncle Stan? How's he supposed to help? He doesn't even believe in the supernatural. <laughs> Good cutaway. Darn kid. No idea what he's messing with. He's stubborn, that's his problem. Sort of like me, I suppose. 
Huh. That's a nice little monologue there. He's stubborn, like me, I suppose. Cause he's been trying for 30 years. By the way, I taught the zombies how to get into the fuse box. Among these dudes, I'm like a genius. <laughs> <laughs> get those brains, dog. <laughs> Love it. Sir, isn't there something in the journal about defeating zombies? There has to be a cure or something. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> Episode 1 kind of fits in with episode 1 from season 1. Nice. You two, Attic, now! <laughs> Uncle Stan? I said now! Alright, you undead jerks, you ready to die twice? Yeah, so now they know he knows about the supernatural. I told you he was going to come in clutch. Oh, nice! Yo! It, it reminds me of the, like, the pterodactyl scene from episode 18. Uncle Stan, that was amazing! Are you alright? <laughs> well, at least you can't deny magic exists anymore, right? Kid, I've always known. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm not an idiot, Dipper. Of course this town is weird. Okay. It's dangerous! <laughs> I've been lying about it to try to keep you away from it. Oh. He needs to show him the portal at this point. Because that, of course, they're against the US government. The journal would help us, but there's nothing in there about defeating zombies. It's hopeless. Wait, 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 the text! It's glowing in the black. Oh, that's so cool. But they're written in some kind of invisible ink. Oh my invisible god. Ink. This is it! Zombies have a weakness. Previously thought to be invincible, their skulls can be shattered by a perfect three-part harmony. Three-part harmony? How can we create that? I have a naturally high-pitched scream. I can make noises with my body. <laughs> <laughs> Are they gonna sing in harmony? I've got my favorite dress on. <laughs> Nice. Girls do what we like. It's actually quite good. It's a bop. Grunkle Stan actually sounds quite good in this. Confetti cannon. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was pretty epic. Deal with it, zombie idiots! <laughs> pines, 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 pines. <laughs> I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> I'll let you hold on to that spooky journal. As long as you promise me you'll only use it for self-defense and not go looking for trouble. Yeah, that's... yeah. As long as you promise me that you don't have any other bombshell secrets about this town. Promise. Promise. Oh. Oh, that's going to come back later. To bite him. Speaking of bite. Wait! There's a page in here about curing zombification. It's going to take a lot of formaldehyde. A whole new chapter of mysteries to explore. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> ah, another zombie! Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! <laughs> oh, okay. okay. It's just, it's a, just a, what is that a guy? very ugly man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Starting season two with an absolute banger. So that had some serious development, some serious character development and story development in there. Um, I really love that now the family has come together and everybody knows about the fact that you, you know, they're not hiding secrets about the fact that this town is supernatural and there's weird things going on and there's this magical journal. Uh, and I really like that Stan has let Dipper keep the book, but only for self-defense. You know, at, at the core of all of this, Stan really is looking out for these kids. He really loves his family. 
but there is some sort of motive that he is still hiding from them. So, like, what is that? And I think it could be related to to um, this twin theory that I've got going on. Um, I, f I feel like there's high potential for this portal to lead to an alternate dimension whereby his twin lives or he's trying to find himself in a different universe or something. I don't know. Um, but I feel like that's what the portal is connected to. But I really liked the development in that episode. That was, that was actually a lot there to unpack um, and really, really enjoyed that. Genuinely, uh, I maybe it's recency bias. Maybe it's because I haven't watched a new episode in a while and because I've overanalyzed the others so much. But one of my favorite episodes right there, just the development of that, um, the structure of the episode as well. And I really like the zombies. I think they were they were quite scary and a pretty good enemy for that episode. Of course, we've also got gotten introduced to the government uh, who are going to get involved because of some sort of radiation or some signals that are coming out from the portal. Maybe there's going to be um, a story there that is ongoing for the season. But I imagine at some point we're going to be diving into that portal. Anyway, uh, oh, oh yeah, black light as well. Black light in the book, that's really cool because it means that there are more secrets to be found by Dipper. Also, I believe... I might be wrong about this. I believe there is actually a special edition of Journal 3 that is Blacklight, but it is on sale for like $3,000 or something, which is absolutely insane. I am not doing that. Unless somebody has an edition and wants to gift it to me, I would be so damned to, to cover it. But but no, um, but there you go. Right, so here's here's the the next part, the code. So what I've learned is that episode number one is called Scary Oak, uh, or Scary Oaky, sorry. Uh, it just looks like Scary Oak. Um, and so there we go, it's called Scary Oaky. And there is a code in the credits that goes S-M-O-F-Z-Q-A-J-D-F-V. Now, what looks like a Caesar cipher or an Atbash cipher. Could be neither. <laughs> um, but we'll see. So here's my cool updated uh, cipher decoder thing, if you haven't seen it yet. I actually do need to update it again so that we can just copy and paste this code in and it will do it for me. But at the moment, I still have to input it manually. Um, oh, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Shoot. Oh, frick. <laughs> It's not a Caesar or an Atbash. It could be a Caesar of another... It could have a different key. I've learned a little bit of, like, cipher or um, cryptology um, terms and stuff. And a key is basically... Like, if you think of it, like, the cipher is uh, Caesar. And the key is how many letters the Caesar um, kind of scrolls. So, like, this Caesar that we've been using this entire time, the key has been three because you go three letters back, or I guess that would be minus three or whatever. That means that this this isn't uh, a Caesar cipher um, with key th a, a key of three. It might have another key, but I'm not willing to bet on it. I think it could actually be just a different code in general. And actually, um, I I've been told that the thing about season two as well is that the codes get a lot harder, like genuinely a, a huge ramp in difficulty because I think Alex Hirsch saw the community and saw that they were looking at every detail in the show and they were decoding things so quickly. So I think that they wanted to do even harder codes and stuff like that. So what I want to do is something that I haven't done in actually so long. And I want to go back to the intro of the episode and I want to see if there's backwards, if there's a backwards voice message again, a backwards whisper. Let's do that. Okay, there's definitely something there again, and I don't think it's the same as we had before. So we're going to see if this tells us how to decode it. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that, that's What's definitely up, different. Bro? Oh, that's that's my one of my previous videos. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, we're reversing the speed. What's it going to say? I heard I heard the word gay.
Oh my gosh. Did it say visionaire? Something visionaire. So while we were looking for a code, while we were looking at decoding a code in season one, we came across multiple ciphers. Um, I think it was when I was looking up what the A1Z26 cipher is called. We actually came across um, a list of ciphers and I'll show you. So here we, here we go. Uh, this wasn't what I looked up initially or whatever, but I've typed in ciphers in Google and one of them that we came across was a visionaire cipher. I, I was told that I didn't pronounce it quite right in, in that episode. I think I called it a, a vignette, but I, I think it's a visionaire. Um, and I don't fully know what a visionaire cipher is. So let's do some research and see if it applies in this situation. So the visionaire cipher, French pronunciation, visionaire, I don't know, <laughs> is it? I'm trying to sound smart. It's a method of encrypting alphabetic text where each letter of the plain text is encoded with a different Caesar cipher. Oh my gosh, whose increment is determined by the corresponding letter of another text, the key. Okay, so if the, if the plain text is attacking tonight and the key is oculorhinolarinology, what the hell? Then the first letter A of the plain text from attacking night tonight is shifted by 14 positions of the alphabet because the first letter O of the key is the 14th letter of the alphabet counting from zero, yielding O. Yes, okay, so you're shifting A by an O amount, so it comes to O, because that's just how it works. And then the second letter T is shifted by C amount, which is two. Oh, oh, because we're counting from zero. Okay, that's not confusing at all. So yeah, so then you would take T and you would shift it by C. So that's shifting it by two. So it would be T U V, right? Yielding V, cool. Uh, and it yields this message, okay. All right, so I get that. Um, I understand, wow, there's some cool stuff going on here. Um, how am I gonna code this in Excel? Oh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a mission. Um, so then what did the, what's the key though? That's my question. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna listen uh, really closely with my headphones on and see if I can work this out. So you won't be able to hear this, but here you go. <laughs> All I can hear is gay visionaire. <laughs> That's so funny. Gay visionaire, yes. I, I, I literally cannot hear anything different to that. <laughs> okay, so what I've actually decided to do is I think I'm just gonna rewatch the episode and see, yeah, I'm gonna rewatch the episode in a reaction video. Like I probably should do this in an analysis video, but I kind of want to figure out this code. I, I want to look through the episode again to see if there was a key that I missed somehow. Like, I don't know where I would find the key. Maybe it's in the credits. I don't see that being the case really. Uh, so I'm just literally going to scroll through this as quickly as I can and see if I can be thorough with it. But uh, it doesn't look like that. Um, okay, I, I'm seeing a lot of things here. Um, and I'm not going to point them all out right now because I want to do a, a separate analysis video on the first three episodes of season two. So expect to see that. But this is really cool looking. Um, we have uh, experiment 78 here. We have uh, like the one dollar bill, or, although it should be um, it should be a minus twelve, shouldn't it? Uh, and then and then down here there's a code. I'm not going to decode that right now because I can't, I can't be bothered. I'm looking for another code. Then there's a key here. Is Shaq the what? No. Why is there a key there? Like I'm thinking key, like I'm looking for a key and I found a key, but I don't know if that is because I'm, I'm looking for like I'm looking for a key I don't know I, I'm just guessing at this point this is really hard this is actually genuinely quite hard um oh there's loads of binary there uh yeah no nothing there that's that's interesting by the way that this this tree that had the thingy in it has like stairs going down really weird um is um 
I, the thing is, I think I'm, I might just need to actually just rewatch this. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna rewatch and see if there's anything special that I missed in like, especially like the audio. Um, so bear with me. This video is probably gonna take like three hours to record, but it's gonna be worth it. Oh, it would have been cool if it was on the water tower. Um. Oh! Is that it? Is he wearing, wearing a hairnet, by the way? Is that it? The key is Whiddle. Okay. I think that might be it. Um, what I don't understand, though, is that that's only six letters. Surely the key would need to be longer than the code itself. Okay, we'll, we'll work it out, I think. Um, so let's take Whiddle. I'm assuming, like, what else does that mean? What is Whiddle? Oh, like Whiddle is in like, Will old Mabel. <laughs> I can't do an accent that's like Gideon, but you know, Gideon says Whiddle. Whiddle old me. Um, but I think key Whiddle, like it has to be, it has to be. Uh, let's try that out. Okay, so here's what I'm assuming, right? We're gonna get a Vigne, oh, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Vigne, a, a Vig, Vigne, how does the backwards message say it? Oh, I think it's Visionaire. I, whatever. We're going to get the Visionaire multiple times throughout season two, I think. And I think they're all going to have different keys, which is going to be so hard to find. So I think this means going into episode two next, we're going to need to look everywhere for this key. Um, but if it if it is actually Whiddle, then this should give us a code. So how do I do this? So first of all, W... What letter in the alphabet is W? Or number in the number line. <laughs> what number is W? It is a 23. So we have 23. And then we have I, which is 9. And then D, which is 4, 4. And then L is 12. And then 5. Okay, so that's how many letters we have to shift using the Caesar cipher. This is so complicated. Okay, so S, S goes 23. Okay, so that's basically like going, oh, but, ah, oh, we did it wrong. We did it wrong. This is 22, 8, 3, 3, 11, 4, because it's from zero. That's even more complicated. Oh my gosh. So here's what we do. S is 19. 22 is four less from 26, so it's gonna be 15th, so it's an O, I think, okay? Or is it the other way around? Is it backwards or is it forwards? I think it could be backwards because the original Caesar was backwards. Um, let's do both just to make sure that we do have the right one. So it's either an O or it's a W, okay? Good start, I think, maybe. I don't know if it's gonna start with a no, that's the thing. It could be a W. So then the I was an eight. So eight letters from M. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is an E. I think that's the e, the W one. And then we're gonna go down from M. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, U. Okay. I mean, looking good so far from both sides, um, the D, let's do D. And then this is going to be done by three. So it's either gonna be, wait, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's an A or a G, A or G. Where did I get D from? I got D from Whittle. Oh my gosh, this is so complicated. So it's O by three. So it's one, two, three, or one, two, three. So it's an L or an R. Oh, I mean, it's it's looking pretty positive on this side. I think we're doing it correctly. That's the thing. So now we have an F. So an F by three again. So it's gonna be a C or a J. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's welcome. Um, it's welcome, I think. Okay, we have an O, and then this should be an M as well. Uh, so a Q, yeah, three from Q is an M. Or four from Q? Yeah, four from Q. Okay, so there we go. 
it's going to say welcome. My question now is, does it go back to to W? Um, I'm assuming it does. So we have an A, and that has to be shifted by 22. So 22 up is going to be 4 down, so that's an E. Yeah, it, it just goes back to the start of the key. Cool, okay. Then do spaces count? I assume they don't. So J is going to be... Oh, it's going to say welcome back, isn't it? It's going to say welcome back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Absolutely it is. B, we know that that's an A. F is going to be... Uh, three letters back from here, so it's going to be C, and then 11 back from V, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh my god. <laughs> that took about half an hour. They really upped the ante. They really up the ante there. But it says welcome back in Vignier. Oh my gosh. So we have to add another column here. Vignier. Oh my god. I'll I'll make sure this is pretty later. Um and then this says welcome back. And then let's have like a, a key column as well. Um and we can say that the key was Whittle. Okay. Fine. So, I think, I think we're good, right? I think we're good for that. Uh, we, oh, I put it in the wrong place. I think that's our code. And I think that that is how the next few episodes are going to operate, at least. We need to be looking out for the key in the episodes uh, as we're watching them. Otherwise, I have to go back through the whole episode and find the key. This is really, really fun. Can I just say that? This is so fun. Um, all right. There was one other thing I noticed here, and this is giving me vibes similar to that of Dipper's Guide to the um, Unexplained, right? Where this looks like a frame in a bigger picture, except it doesn't really look like it's going to make a bigger picture. Like there's no like big cross or like an eye or like part of something. It just seems to be a picture of a skull. But we do see this is in the top left hand corner. So I imagine we're going to see each one as it goes. And after all, this is a 20 episode series, I believe. It, it could be more, it could be less, but the last series was 20 episodes. 20 can be split into 4 by 5 so this could be a 4 by 5 image, 100%. Um, so I'm really excited to get back into this sort of thing. It's, it's what I absolutely love. Um, so, I think we should take a screenshot of this. Hopefully that's not A1Z26. Um, well, I mean, it, I... I would love it to be because it would mean we can solve the code. However, um, I don't really think there is a however, actually. I don't, I don't really know what I'm talking about. So here is our image. And let's type out all these numbers. This is going to take another 40 minutes, I swear. I hope you guys can see my commitment to this series. Um, because I'm, I'm super committed to solving all of this. And honestly, this is just so much fun. Like I would love to, I would do this in my free time. Um, but it's so great that I have a platform that I can, I can share this with, um, almost because I've, I freaking love this stuff. This is the stuff that I would watch if I was watching YouTube. And I love it when I make content like that. I make content that I would actually watch. Like it, it means that it's going to do well. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Let's do this. Possibly the longest code that we've ever seen, um, which scares me. <laughs> of course it does. Um, oh god! Oh, what have I got into? Four, sixteen, nineteen. Oh my god! It's literally a one. No, it's the combo. It's the combo. What? Are you kidding me? If I didn't have an Excel to decode all of this for me. This would be so, t this would be so rough to do on paper. Imagine if after episode one of me 
reacting to the series. Imagine if I never actually stepped up to an Excel and made this these formulas. Because this is so hard to decode on paper. Vignier ciphers, I, I really need to learn how to say that. Um, <laughs> and, and like this combination cipher, basically the combination cipher, if you don't know, it's A1, Z26, then at bash, then Caesar. This is just coded so that that's how it works. But um, but I guess you can just do one one letters to the other because that is what it is at the end of the day. Um, or one number to a letter or whatever. Uh, but yeah, the man down. Okay, good start. I will see you when I solve this. Okay. That's cool. So it says the man downstairs is very clever. Can he hide his plans forever? So that's talking about Gronkle Stan. Um, he's very clever. Can he hide his plans forever? I don't think so. I think I think it's going to come out pretty soon. Um, I think... I just don't know when it's going to happen. You know, I, I don't know when Dipper and Mabel are going to find the portal. But at some point it's going to happen. Because they sort of teased it. They were, they were like... Um, I think Dipper was like, uh, do you have any other crazy secrets that you need to tell me right now? And Grandcore Stan was like, mm, nope, but he clearly does. He hasn't told them anything about the portal or the fact that he has all three books or whatever. Um, so that's going to be interesting when they find out. Um, but there you go. The man downstairs is very clever. Can he hide his plans forever? I love, love these teasers. And I love that they rhyme as well. It, it just makes it that much more fun. So, that is the answer to that one. Man, I've, I've, <laughs> I've been recording for way too long. All right, episode number two. I guess it's time for episode number two. I, I'm, I'm guessing I'm not missing anything else major. Um, as I say, we will be doing analysis videos in between reaction videos, um, just to spice it up a little bit and to find all of the things that I didn't find today. Okay, I've got a lot of editing to do. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to episode number two. Let's go. Just power walk away from them. How much do <laughs> you want to bet that guy dies first? They're getting on well. Ugh, I'm over him. I just wish he was over me. Just look at these texts. Winky frown? What does that even mean? Winky frown? <laughs> maybe you wanted to... I mean, if, if you and me, whatever. I mean, if maybe you... Wanted to join me and Mabel on this mystery hunt tomorrow. Oh. Come on, have some confidence, Dipper. If she says no, it's not the end of the world. That's what we are. That's all we'll ever be. Oh my god, season two is going to make me cry so much. Friends. Dude, you're laying on my bra. <laughs> I was about to say, is, is that a bra? <laughs> okay. This intro only gets better with time. Gonna be looking out for the key. <laughs> so if I don't if I don't say anything throughout the episode, it's because I'm looking for the key. <laughs> it's genuine plastic. And repave the cracks in the Okay, so this is just after scary Oki. Ooh. Thank you all for coming. Is he investigating the stairs? Spiral steps? Oh, and it might go down to Grunkle Stan's basement. Who wrote this journal? Yes. Author vanished without a trace. But according to this new clue, oh. we may have found his secret hiding place. Oh no! <laughs> I've been wanting to go adventuring with you guys. Sure beats picking up after my dad at home. Ow! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're getting on quite well. He's just too. Puberty. <laughs> but how do we get up there? Seems like we need like a ladder or like ladder shoes. Wendy is so cool, man. My dad used to make me compete in these lumberjack games when I was a kid. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Oh. Whoa. Hey, yo. What? This series keeps getting cooler, man. Oh my god. This is so stupid. Any keys? Any keys? <laughs> like a fallout shelter or something. 
It must have belonged <laughs> to the author. It's like a Fallout shelter or something. It's like he was preparing for. It could disaster. be a Fallout shelter. 1982. What kind of disaster would need supplies for over 60 years? Huh. Oh my gosh. A smez dispenser. I remember these things. <laughs> smez. <laughs> this is so cool, by the way. What the hell? Oh man. Was this place built in the Alchemy past? symbols? Yeah, this room is way creepy. Not as creepy as Dipper's internet history. Hey! <laughs> uh oh. Find these four symbols. Quick, everybody step on one. Ooh. Nice. Good job, guys. That was close. Oh, boy. Who made that? You ruled back there, man. <laughs> Thanks. Get a load of this crazy surveillance room. She's going to keep doing this. It's going to be stringing him along. Seuss. Seuss. That is hilarious. Hey, bro, you forgot your best. <laughs> Wendy's uh, got more character this season, I think, already. Dear Wendy, I've always had a crush on... <gasps> oh, my gosh! Dipper, you should just tell her already. One way or another, you'll feel better afterwards. That is true. He wants to tell her, but he's scared. He clearly hasn't watched Mabel's Guide to Dating. This is for your own good. What? <laughs> Decontaminate. Whoa. Where's the key? <laughs> Sorry. Maybe the author did experiments down here. That would make sense with the carpet as well. Experiment number 78. That's hot. Ah! Oh. That is so wise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually... I don't know if I can watch this. It's, um, like, tri tri tryptophobia or something. Where are we going? Tryptophobia and arachnophobia? I don't know. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. Back! Back, you hate us, beast! Who the hell? Well, it's the writer of the books. A monster's tongue. <gasps> it, it's you. Is it Bear Grylls? Wendy, it's the guy. The guy? I've got like a jillion questions. Why did you write the journals? Who was after you? Oh, it's not him. It's a red herring. It's one of my experiments. A shapeshifter. Able to take the form of anyone or anything it sees. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yes. After all these years. Oh, it was him. Okay. I need to look at how many fingers he has. Wendy, isn't it amazing we're actually meeting the real author? <gasps> Dipper. Look. Num nums. You know what? We should probably get going. Wait. Can I have my journal back? What's a... I'm, I missed the po- You're not going anywhere. Oh, it's a monster disguised as him. Right, because that's what he said. So many wonderful forms to take. <laughs> oh, cool. Was that the hide behind? That was so clever. That was ridiculously clever. What happened? We got attacked by the shapeshifter. He broke out of his cage, pretended to be the author, and wants Dipper's journal. Oh, Wendy's cool side is coming out. I could never trust anyone ever again. What do we do? Well, he took us into his home, tricked us, and tried to destroy us. I say we return the favor. Do it. There you are. 
fool and a new one. Should I be one or the other? How about both? <laughs> On earth! Guys, he's coming! He's coming! No, no, no! That's terrifying! Oh no! That was almost cool! I was too scared and now you could be hurt or worse and I never even got a chance to tell you I'm like in love with you Wendy she's heard everything she's gonna be like what the hell man oh uh, differ or is that the clone which one's which Get us back. It belongs to don't get the wrong one Okay, nice. Nice. The cryogenic chamber, right? Good job. Oh, this is really cool seeing different creatures. And this will be the last form you ever take. <laughs> Ooh. Good luck sleeping tonight. <laughs> uh. Look, Wendy, about earlier, in the heat of the moment, I might have said some dumb things, and can't we just pretend none of that ever happened? Dude, dude, it's okay. I always kind of knew. Wait, you did? <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, yeah. you think I can't hear that stuff you're constantly whispering under your breath? <laughs> uh, Mabel said confessing would make me feel better. Well, how do you feel? Anxious, and scared, and kind of itchy. <laughs> Dude, don't be itchy, man. Let me tell you something. This summer was super boring until you showed up. And if you ever stop being my friend, I would like throw myself into the bottomless pit. <laughs> but I'm just pit mention. If you can handle that monster, you can handle a little awkwardness. <laughs> friends? Yeah, dude, friends. <laughs> <sighs> so, how did it go? What did you hear? Everything, all the time. I'm not here. <laughs> Mabel, how can everything be so amazing and so terrible all at the same time? I'm sorry for being so pushy, Dipper. If it's any consolation, I'm already working on a list of your potential rebound crushes. Oh my gosh. Whoa! What the? Zeus! Oh! That's not a briefcase, that's a laptop! And it really busted up. Property of F. So the author begins with F? A wittlest vampire. A wittlest vampire. Of planet, planet. <laughs> Help! My mummy's a <laughs> Attack of the exclamation points! A <laughs> man with no taste! Ghost turtle! Oh. Help! My mummy's a werewolf too! Great. This again! This again. Oh my god. <sighs> if you're gonna- if you're about to comment, is he crying at episode number two? Yes, <laughs> it was just really, it was a really cute, sentimental moment, um, for me at least. Um, I don't know, it, it was just the thought, I, sometimes I have these weird thoughts, I, I think it was just the thought, it, it, it pieced together for me, like, d one of Dipper's biggest threats is his own mind, and... That to me kind of like hit, hits close to home. Like uh, for me, I I'm really good at a lot of things. I'm good at deciphering messages. I'm 
I, I'd say I'm pretty good at content creation. I'm good at video editing. I'm good at like playing guitar and doing weird matrix manipulation stuff. Um, I'm a mathematician. Like I, I have so, so many strengths. My biggest enemy is my own mind. Um, I get quite anxious over things and I tend to kind of overthink everything. And so I, I think me and Dipper are quite, um, quite similar in that regard. And I don't know why that hit so close to home, but that was just like, that thought just kind of overwhelmed me in that moment. Um, man, that was, that was a really good episode. Um, it, it seems, it seems maybe I'll, 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 I don't want to like fully say this yet, but I think the quality is going up. I think that these episodes are feeling like constant, constant motion with the story and I'm freaking loving it. It feels more progressive and I feel like in season one, there were a lot of filler episodes that kind of have never really come back at all. Um, some of them were cool, like Summerween wasn't massively like, uh, like, like plot, but it was a really cool episode nevertheless. Um, and then there were other episodes like the boys crazy episode, which I didn't like as much and it wasn't, it had no plot. It, it didn't really had, have like a big, bigger connection to the story at large. But I think that these episodes so far, right on point, like that they are really progressing the story a lot and I'm so excited to see the rest of the season. Anyway, I am literally going to be here for three hours doing this. Um, so the author of the books begins with an F, I assume now, because we we see like the the old laptop thing. Like it, it seems like a pretty old rustic um, like computer device or just computer. I'm, I sound like a boomer. That computer device there. Um, but yeah, that, that computer, that device seems to be quite old. And it says property of F. So I assume the author's name begins with F. From the top of my head, we have no characters that begin with F. So good start, I guess. Um, I wonder. I, I, I really wonder. Um, so let's see the code and see if we can find the key as well. Because I didn't see the key while I was watching the episode. Even though I was looking out for it as well. Like, it's horrible. It's so horrible. Anyway, let's take a screenshot of this and then go back through the episode. Oh my God, that's so hard to see. I almost just like scrolled past it, but then I saw like th this room it has like a lot of things in it. And I, I suspected it would be in this room out of everything in this episode, but it's right there. Oh my gosh, that's hard. Oh, that that's really hard to spot. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to solve every code in this. Shifter. It says shifter. So the key is shifter. Okay. <laughs> My brain's going to explode. So at this point, we just need to go through the same process. And of course, I'm going to make a quick way to do this in uh, before we go to that before we before I do my next reaction video, I'm going to work out a different way to solve this um, so that it's a lot quicker. But man, this is okay. So shifter. So S is 19. H is eight. And then I is going to be nine. Oh, wait, it's one letter back. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm always going to forget this. I'm always going to forget. Okay. Okay. So we have an O shifted up by 18 letters. I think that's going to be an X. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't think it is. Uh, an O, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, so it's a W. Bam. And then even though it, it's two O's next to each other, it's not going to be the same letter because it is shifted by different Caesar ciphers. So it's going to be up by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. H, looking good so far. To be honest, I did that word quite fast. Um, so I don't think there's going to be much of a problem here. Uh, but 19D, one, two, three. Okay, V7 is going to be an O, right? So I think I found a quick way to do this with just math. Um, so if I do an N and then eight, so it's going to be six, which is an F. Yeah, what kind of? Okay, cool. And then we have an I shifted by five which is going to be four, which is D, B, 
B by my, my 19 is going to be a 9, I think. What kind? Is it going to be what kind of idiot? No. Um, nine, so 19 is 7 letters off. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, it's, it's an I, I think. I think it's disaster. A by 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, it, it's disaster, I think. Uh, I don't want to jump the gun here, though. Disaster. Uh, M to E. Yeah, it's disaster. It could be because the fire as well from um, from W is going to be R. Yeah, cool. Okay. What kind of disaster? And then we still have six letters left. Uh, th this is work, guys. Like, I'm genuinely working here. Okay, here we go. What kind of disaster indeed? Um... What kind of disaster indeed? I guess that's like an answer to the to a question, or it, I mean, it's a, it's answering a question with a question. Someone's asking like, "What kind of a disaster is this for?" And then it's saying, "What kind of disaster indeed?" Um, I don't know. I, I think they're just talking about the bunker. Um, what kind of disaster indeed? I don't know. I, to be honest, not even too sure like it, it sucks it absolutely sucks that we do all this freaking work and i don't even fully know what it means um <laughs> so like that's one thing um like i have a mathsy brain i have a brain for deciphering codes and stuff like that but i don't have a brain for interpreting what the <laughs> plain text actually means anyway what kind of a disaster indeed is what we have here for now i'm gonna put it as orange uh, just because I don't fully know what it means. Uh, I think obviously it's talking about like the disaster bunker, the nuclear bunker or whatever, but I don't, I don't, I don't know if there's more to it than that. Um, you know what? You guys can let me know. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere, get anywhere else with that. So if you guys want to let me know, you are free to, to let me know in the comments what, what kind of disaster indeed actually means. Okay. All right, final thing for the episode is, of course, this thing. And that is an atom, if I've ever seen one before. Um, of it, well, electron shells more than atom, because an at atom has a nucleus as well. But, um, okay, cool. So nothing else really there. I mean, obviously, we've got all the alchemy symbols again, and, um, like, f I see fire at the top. Um... It's cool that we're getting like a sciencey aspect of this. It's pretty cool. Uh, again, we have an A1Z26 cipher, so let's do that again. Oh, not A126, um, the combo cipher. So here's the thing, right? This is probably the top right-hand corner. So it's probably not going to be... Yeah, look at that. It might not be a 5x4, because I don't even know how they would actually do that. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think it's a 5x4. I think it could be a 2x10, which, like, that even makes me wonder. Like, does that mean we're going to go really far down? Oh, maybe, maybe because it's like a, a page of a book. Yeah, that, that would make sense, actually. Um, so there we go. This is This is the first one. Uh, let's put these in bold and then this is going to be the second one. Okay. <sighs> so much decoding. Oh, that's the end of the code. Okay. Okay. Thank goodness. Um, so it's improper use of machinery could lead to utter catastrophe. Um, although I spelled that completely wrong. All right, again, I'm treating you guys with this one. Extra long videos and stuff. We're going to move on to episode number three of season two. But I have been recording for two and a half hours. <laughs> so I'm going to get myself another drink. It is absolutely crazy. I've been recording, it's been two episodes of season two, and I've been recording for two and a half hours. Um, if you recall my Dreamscapers and Gideon Rises episode, 
um, or sorry, it was it was actually three episodes in one, just like this. Um, that took three hours to record. Uh, wait, no, no. It took three hours to record six episodes because I remember I did two recording sessions. So, <laughs> really, <laughs> we've we. We're half as efficient in this recording session. Oh my god. Right, we're gonna get into episode number three. Don't know the name of it because I'm not looking at the names. Let's go. It's a lot more fun actually. I have no idea what to expect. Pacifica Northwest declares V-Nex the look of the season. What am I looking at here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no. No. Is it legal for a child to wear that much makeup? <laughs> She always ruins everything. Uh, she does, up, like man. genuinely. I mean, no one even reads newspapers anymore. Dude, the next season is upon us. Who wants to help me get ahead of the fashion curve? I'm taking it one step further. What's the double your neck? <laughs> oh, Seuss. How about we take a break, huh? Would kicking all our butts at mini golf cheer you up? Just 20 minutes long of them playing golf. <laughs> Martin. Waddle was just like, what's going on? Look after the house. <laughs> I can't do it. Was that UFO always there? I swear that's the first time I've seen that UFO. There's so many UFOs. Even in the Dipper shorts, I completely missed it. But one of the episodes, it starts out with him squishing a UFO toy. I wonder if we're ever going to see UFOs, or if, it's or if it's just the branding of the mystery shack. If it's like, conspiracy shack, you know what I mean? But there you go. Focus, focus, and... Ah! <laughs> what? How'd I get here? <laughs> Besides the Bermuda's Triangle, how mini golf works is the world's greatest mystery. As far as I'm concerned, you're still better than anyone else in gravity. It's Pacifica. Oh, would you look at that? I hit my leg in the wrong place. <laughs> Ow. You walked into the game of a mini golf champ. True. Ha, Sergey. This is Sergey. My Sergey. The Sport Olympics have mini golf once. I put goal. What the hell? Bro, I would just shoot her in the head. Don't tell anyone I said that. Yeah, well, I want a rematch! She's so annoying. Walking one dimensional bleach blonde belly I mean, girl stereotype! Like, let's do this. Thing is, Mabel has kept her cool at this point, but now it's broken. She's let her get to her, and now, now it's a problem. Owen, oh, hey, Mabel. <clears throat> Knock her dead, kid. Oh, I love it when he's like that. It's really sweet. Darn, poop heck, darn. That does feel like luck, to be honest. You can't really manipulate it. Ah. Did you hear that? What? What? There's something in there. <laughs> this show gets weirder and weirder. Hi, hello. I'm Franz and welcome to our home. What is this? Oh my god, it's um it's Patton Oh, what's his name? Neither. We're Lilliputchians. It's Remy from Ratatouille and Jesse from Minecraft Story Mode. Balls, behold! And a guy from the Goldbergs, I think. He's got a really distinct voice. Oh, and he's also in the boys. <laughs> he's the deep skills. We kind of have to play this golf tournament against my rival, Pacifica. <gasps> oh, rig it! All about rivals. Put a clog in it, you windmill lovers! These frilly bottom <laughs> days are terrible at controlling the ball. What is this, Night at the Museum? 
Shut your mouths, you showboating pirates! <laughs> Everyone knows the Eiffel Tower hole is the best! Je ne sais quoi, sacré bleu au revoir! Je ne sais quoi! Non-controllables better than the Knights of... Wiener Castle? Is that Lord Farquaad? Oh, foul ball. These guys control the course. Just tell them we'll give the sticker to whichever group does a better job of helping us win. I'm not sure, Dipper. I want to beat Pacifica, but doesn't this seem like cheating? Pacifica's rich, Mabel. She's cheating at life. That, I mean, that's true. That is true. It's <laughs> a good point. <laughs> <laughs> this dynamic is so funny. Out tonight. Well, this is getting weird. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> nice. To quote Mabel, <laughs> I rigged it. <laughs> okay. I wonder what cute, silly things are going on down there. No! Don't go, Big Henry! We need you! Go home, Polly. <laughs> what? What is going on, man? Come on, Big Henry. You can do this. Come on. This is so dramatic for no reason. <laughs> there may be another way to win the huge link's favor. Knock on wood. <laughs> Knock on wood. Clogs on their feet. Frickin' hell. Ugh, pit cola. I always forget about the pit. Get me a different one, Sergey. Wait, there's a pit in the cola? Oh my god. Pit cola. What are you guys doing? This wasn't part of the deal, Tiny Dutchman. Okay, so we saw you were favoring the miners and we figured, what's better than beating Pacifica? <laughs> Killing her, right? As if. I'm calling my parents. Where's my phone? <laughs> Send. <laughs> you know what? No one gets the sticker! Sacre bleu! <laughs> Sacre bleu! If we work together... Then we could cut open her belly and get the sticker! Yeah! Give the girl! Slice her open! Uh, I was about to say, that, that wasn't a great plan, Mabel, but... Sticker, sticker. Oh, Jesus Christ! So they're going to save Pacifica and... Um, and they're going to like each other. And watch the earrings. They're worth more than your house. Oh, shut up. You two. I don't know what you did or what's going on, but if you think just because you saved my life by... I'm sorry, Pacifica. We shouldn't have cheated. You totally would have beat me. Fair and square. Hey, your parents aren't here. You want to ride home? <laughs> Please. As if I'd ride in your... She does not deserve the ride. She's so horrible. Tacos! Mm. You're allowed to eat in the car? Yeah, the car is where secret surprise snacks happen. Want one? Oh, I'm not supposed to take handouts. Handouts? It's called sharing. You do know what sharing is, right? Bloody hell. Sh sharing? Just Shari? Frickin' hell. Oh, and Mabel? Um, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I had fun. And tell your servant I like his W neck. Yes! <laughs> I think we made some progress. The important thing to remember is that at the end of the it's day... Making the small steps, yeah. ordinary kid like us. Montreal. We control the balls. To Montreal. Figured it out. We control the balls. Now 
how he gets it. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Our lives are filled. <laughs> <laughs> like Can I go now? Never! <laughs> Oh, we need the full musical, man. Oh, that'd be great. All right, once again, I missed the key. So I've got to go through the episode and find it. I would say it's a really creative method, right, of of decoding, of using codes, right? You have to go through the episode, you have to find the secret key, and then you can use that to your ability to find the secret code. I really like that, and I really like that they're stepping up. It's just, it's awful, it's genuinely awful going through the, the episode again and just trying to find the bloody code. It's, it's, it's not great. It's, um, I'm not saying it's not fun. It's just like, drags on a bit because it's really, it's just difficult to find. And like, if you miss it, you have to go through again and again. And <laughs> jeez, I don't know how many times I can take it. <laughs> oh, I... I thought that was it, wieners. Um, Jesus Christ. That's so ridiculous. Look how hard that is to see. It says whatevs. Okay. I mean, I guess they do flash it for like a split second, but all right. So, and yes, I did go through 19 minutes of content there just to find this key. So, there we go. <laughs> um, this is cool though. This is this is quite fun. Like searching for this key code because uh, you know, you to be honest, you can't really predict where it is. You just kind of have to go through the episode manually and just find it. But there you go. So it's whatevs. Fine. Okay, so we have this code with whatevs. Um, so a W is gonna be a 22, a H is gonna be a seven, and so on and so forth. An A is gonna be a zero. Cool, it's great to know that. <laughs> we got 19, we got a four, we've got a 21, and then we have an 18, and then that's gonna be copied like twice, I think just to cover the full extent of the code. Okay, so we have an N shifted by 22. So that's gonna be down by four. So one, two, three, four, that's an R. Then we have an L shifted by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's an E. Then we have an M shifted by zero, that's an M. <laughs> an X shifted by 19. That's going to be a five. Okay, something has gone wrong because I've got remember big henges. Uh, I would imagine it's the bottom two, to be honest. Um, let's just check that the code is right. L Z F N F. Yeah, so I'm not just daydreaming Friday Night Funkin'. Um, so what is that gonna be? Remember, I'm pretty happy with remember and big and then hen, Sounds like it's right, but let's check it. F back by 18. Is that the problem? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it's an N. Okay. So it's something to do with these two. So let's do 22 back from N. So that's going to be... Uh, where's N? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It's an R. So is this going to be Henry? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Remember Big Henry. I thought it would be Henry. Um, who was Big Henry? Was that the guy um, voiced by Patton? I've, I don't I forgot his last name. Patton Oswalt, I think. Um, let's look up Gravity Falls. Is it, is it this guy? Uh, Franz. No, it's not Franz. Remember Big Ken Oh! Wait. It's, uh, oh, that's Minecraft. <laughs> 
I just have Minecraft open. Pa Big Henry is the the miner. This guy. That's Big Henry. 100%. Yeah, that's Big Henry. Okay, cool. We got it, boys. <laughs> and of course, it's saying remember Big Henry because Big Henry um, tragically passed away. <laughs> okay, so remember Big Henry. Womp womp. <laughs> and then this is whatevs. Cool. Great. I'm 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 loving this um the the Visionaire cipher is actually really cool. I think it's it's one of the cooler ciphers and it's it's not something I've ever actually heard of before, but it, it just seems to be like it seems to be Caesar squared. That's that's what I'm getting from this. Final thing to do. I saw a windmill. Okay. So here we are. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, guys. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, the creators love me. The creators absolutely love me. I've spotted some maths. I have spotted some really complex maths. <laughs> Do I have enough knowledge to solve that? It's it's actually, it looks more like physics than math. So I see a V. Although, when we're talking about R0 and R, so I'm thinking radius or, oh, I don't know. What is N ace? We got a V, which, like, it's a capital V, not a lowercase V. So I'm thinking volume rather than velocity. An ace. We have an E with an accent to the power of two thirds. So that's going to be so that's going to be squared and then cube rooted. Uh, I don't know, but I think this goes here. I think that's what we're going to be doing, and it seems like we're going to have one one image here. We're going to have one image from four episodes. Um, so that's cool. I think that's cool. Um, interestingly, we have a slash here, which I've never seen before, and we have some um, we have some apostrophes in this number code. Uh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm solving the number code by the way, um, but I think you all assumed I was doing that anyway, because you know I I am mentally insane and I do things all the time that drive me even more insane, um, such as FNAF content. <laughs> I guess Gravity Falls is now feeding into that. All right, and then we go into here. I do not have enough room for this. <laughs> oh, well, we, we've, we've copied this down. So there we go, and then we'll paste this. Okay, cool. Now let's solve this. <laughs> Old man, we're gonna get McGucket. Never mind. And it's not Old Man Consequences either. <laughs> Oh, that's a cool one. Old man sleeping on the green can't help but wonder what he's seen. Hmm, <laughs> what has he seen? At this point in the series, you know, I, I went into this video um, like almost four hours ago now. I went into this video uh, that long ago thinking old man McGucket is probably the author. And I've come out the other end thinking it it's probably less likely now. I think it's probably someone else. I forgot what Old Man McGucket's first name was. Does it begin with F? I don't remember it beginning with F. But um but I don't know. Um we 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 do need to remember that in the intro. We do still have two characters that we just don't know. One of them's going to be the author. Then one of them's just got glasses. Uh, so I don't know who that is. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully the rest of season two is going to give us the answers. Uh, and if not, then it's going to point us in the right direction at least. Boy, this was a long recording. Please make sure that you like this video uh, with your heart. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I cannot wait to go through the rest of season two. Um, be sure to tell me 
what I missed in the second episode or like what the code actually means. Uh, we're going to be doing an analysis video next time. So we're going to be looking through these episodes for anything I might have missed. And then we'll be moving on to episode four to six. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you then. Goodbye.